Hi, Rebecca. Hi. <laughs> Tell me your name. So I'm Rebecca Pokiak. I'm from Tuck. Um, I've, I was raised here, and my parents, my dad was a trapper, so I was raised out around the Anderson River Forks. Um, the first year I actually went through a full year of school was actually in grade six. My mom, mm -hmm. my parents raised, I guess, m me and my older brother and sister out in the Anderson River, and um, my mom would, she'd homeschool us, so she taught us out on the land while we were brought up learning how to hunt and trap. That's amazing. Mm -hmm. So what were the highlight, what, what's the highlight of your time, what, what, what were you learning out there? Um, well, my mom would teach us to sew a little bit and a lot of the trapping, like I was able to go on the actual trap line with my dad. I've seen some of the older camps in the area, like just a little ways upriver from where we had our cabin. There was, um, I know a few elders, Bill and Lucy Cotton used to live out there, so I was able to go out and see their camp and what was actually left of it and we'd go and my parents would let us just go and look around and stuff. So. And then I've been out, John Carmichael is a little farther upriver, I've been able to see his camp and I've been able to go travel downriver with my parents and see a bit of the Anderson River, but I've never been able to see the Fort Anderson and that's something I'd really like to do. So you were saying today was the first time you were really learning about the McFarland collection? Yep, yeah, I've heard a little bit about it um, when they first, when I first heard about the Smithsonian trip when they were actually taking people down. I. I was really interested and that's something I'd like to become more involved with. Mm -hmm. Including your dad, James. Yep, yep, my, I heard from my dad because he, he was lucky enough to be able to go down and experience it. And mm -hmm. It's definitely something I'd like to learn more about and be more involved with. Yeah, what was your reaction to looking at the collection? It's amazing, it's amazing that the, all these artifacts from so long ago are in such good shape yet, but they're actually here for us to learn more about and to be able to see and the way they're talking about how they want to start using those and making patterns of the old clothing and doing projects in schools with the the tools and stuff it's really good it's good because I think it's going to bring back it, it's teaching the youth the culture and not I'd love I'd love to learn how to do a lot of those things sure do you sew yeah I've always sewn um like I, I've done shoes and parkies, but not nothing like the parkies and shoes in the collection. Like I've done the down parkies and I've made fur mitts and mm -hmm. fur mucklucks, but they're nothing like what's in the um, McFarland collection. But I'd love to have the opportunity to learn. So having those patterns something. available would be really great for local people. It would be, yeah. yeah. I'd love to be able to get a pattern and actually try to sew some of those things and like I think the first part for a lot of the sewing is just learning how to actually prepare the skin to sew with so mm -hmm. there's mm -hmm. it's going to be a long process but it's definitely something I'm interested in. Do you think that the website's a good way to share the collections with local people? Yes it is because people you don't have to be there to actually see it you can see it from anywhere it doesn't matter where you are in the world if you have internet you're able to to get information on it and see the different artifacts and stuff in the collection. Anything else you'd like to add? Um, I, I think it's really good that they're trying to incorporate it in the schools and stuff because the youth, especially up here, the youth, they need it. It's good for them to learn their culture. There's a lot they don't know about it and this is a really good opportunity for the youth, even myself, to learn more about our culture. Thanks, Rebecca.